Renaissance fam, Renaissance cam here back in effect. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, if y'all new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be alerted when these videos drop. I hope everybody's doing well. As you can see, we back in the kitchen, so y'all know what that means. I got another banging recipe for y'all to try. Now, today's recipe is one of those viral recipes, you know what I'm saying, that I'm always late to, but I've still been seeing it all over the place, so I'm still anxious to try it. Now, as you all know, it's the Flying Dutchman Burger. Y'all seen it on the, on the thumbnail. Y'all seen it in the description. That's what we're making today, all right? We're going to make it look good. We're going to make it taste good. We're going to make it smell good. It's just going to be all around good, good as hell. Now, when it comes to stuff like this, if you're going to cheat, go all the way, all right? Don't cheat yourself out of a good experience, all right? A lot of y'all, you know, I know you want to keep that fine body that you got. So go to the gym, you know what I'm saying, work out burn all those calories off, and get prepared for something like this, all right? Because this right here is one of those things where you take three steps forward and then three steps back. So you basically just compensate. So, like I said, we're going to make the Flying Dutchman Burger. It's going to be delicious, hella unhealthy, but amazing, all right? Let's get started. All right, guys, so to kick this thing off, we're going to start with our fresh ingredients, all right? Right here, we got some 80-20 ground beef. This is going to render down perfect when it comes to our onion slices. We want everything to be in proportion we don't want stuff to be too big or too small so this is going to render down perfect all right next we're going to start out with our bacon okay this is premium bacon applewood smoke best bacon you can buy if you ask me all right we're just going to layer a few pieces of that on a cookie sheet or whatever you got and we're going to bake that in the oven for about 400 degrees all right at about 400 degrees i'm sorry but um yeah we're going to throw that in there should take about maybe 10 minutes that's about it depending on how you like your bacon i like mine to be perfect i like it to be a little chew to it i don't like it burnt but oven bacon in the oven that's the best way to cook bacon in my opinion all right so now star of the show right here the onion all right this is very easy to mess up so please be careful and be very very you know cautious when doing this all right we want to get these onion slices perfect so just take your time, don't be in a rush. Make sure you're guiding that knife through extremely slow and you should get perfect onion slices like this, all right? So the next thing we have to do is season our burgers, all right? We're gonna keep this extremely simple. We're not gonna overdo it. We're just gonna add a little bit of salt, some black pepper, some onion powder, and whatever low sodium um, all-purpose seasoning you have. I use the Dano's Original. That's one of my favorite seasonings to use when it comes to all-purpose low sodium. Um, so yeah, that's all we're gonna do with these burgers right here. Now, of course, this next step is optional, but what's a burger without fries, all right? That's like peanut butter with no jelly. So we making us some real quick hand-cut fries. Y'all don't really need to know that, but if y'all wanna know how I make my fries, you know, in more depth, more detail, just leave it in the comment section and I'll do a you know arrangement of french fries for y'all so the next thing we're gonna work on is our sauce all right so first things first we're gonna go in with some cupine mayo it's the Japanese mayo it's it tops every other mayo in my opinion all right next we're gonna go in with some tomato ketchup I can't really tell y'all exactly how much I used you know it's just a squirt of this squirt of that we went in with some sriracha then we coming in with that sweet relish all right Sweet relish is gonna give it some texture, kind of like the animal style sauce at In-N-Out. Um, we're gonna go in with some of that yellow mustard, and then we're gonna follow that up with some white vinegar, all right? This is gonna give us a little bit of acidity to the sauce, and it's gonna be fire, all right? Next, we're gonna take some of that pepperoncini liquid and pour that in the sauce as well, all right? This is gonna elevate that sauce to a whole nother level. So once we get that nice and mixed up, it's gonna look like your typical delicious burger sauce, all right? And it's gonna complement this burger very well. So now it's time to start cooking, all right? So to a griddle pan or a cast iron skillet, whatever you have, take you some oil and some of that bacon grease, and we just gonna oil this pan down, and it's gonna prep us to make these burgers righteous, all right? Cooking anything in bacon grease just makes it 10 times better. So once that pan gets nice and hot, we wanna take those burgers and we wanna place them away from us so that grease don't splatter everywhere, even though it kinda did, but it's just, you know, for safety precautions. Layer those burgers on there, make sure they get full contact with your pan, and we are gonna cook these for about 
three to four minutes on each side, depending on how hot you're getting, all right? You can kind of tell when the burger starts to cook, when the edges start to brown, all right? It's kind of like pancakes almost. But um, yeah, we're gonna let these cook. We're gonna throw those onions on the back side of those, and we're gonna let those cook as well, all right? And as you can see, once those burgers start to get brown and start to suck in on the bottom, that's how you know you're getting a nice sear, all right? As you can see, we got a nice crust on these burgers, and that basically just locked all that flavor and all those seasonings is locked in there. And we got flavor and the natural juices from the actual meat. It's just gonna all sit inside of that burger and just be fire. So next, you know we gotta go in with that bacon, all right? I know that is your ideal slice of bacon, all right? Anybody who eats bacon any different than this, you know, can't necessarily be trusted, all right? This is perfect bacon and it was made in the oven. I'm telling you, that's how we do it. Throw that American cheese on there. You gotta throw that highly processed American cheese. That's the only way to really do this, okay? Cause it's not gonna come out the same way. You know, that, that fast food flavor is just not in cheddar cheese. It's not in provolone cheese. It's only in that highly processed American cheese, all right? So now we're gonna concentrate on our onions, all right? We literally just season those with salt, pepper, and then we're gonna go in with some dark brown sugar to actually caramelize these onions, you know, even better and add a nice color to the onion, okay? That, that's what really gives it those onions that color is that brown sugar. So I'm gonna remind y'all to really be careful when it comes to flipping these onions, all right? As you can see, I almost lost that one up front but I got them back together. We're just gonna use that one for the bottom bun and you know, it's still gonna be perfect, okay? So now we're just gonna double stack these bad boys, all right? You can leave them singles, but of course you're gonna need more onion slices to really accommodate every burger, all right? But as you can see, this is looking insane, all right? Just look how that cheese is just layering over that bacon and that burger like a, a heated blanket in the winter time. I'm jealous. But on a real note, we just gonna take that other side of that onion and we gonna stack that bad boy right on top of these burgers. I'm telling you, they just kinda, they're starting to kinda fall apart a little bit, but as you can see, it's serving as like a perfect cap. That's why I said get that 80-20 because it's gonna render down perfect and everything's gonna be, you know, within proportion, all right? It's hard to find giant onions to really, you know, make this, but we found some and we made it do what it do. So right here, they go those fries I made, all right? Like I said, if y'all want me to make some fries for y'all, you know, specifically for y'all, I will do that. Just put it in the comment section and we'll make some fries, garlic parmesan fries, um, Cajun fries, whatever you want to make, we'll make them, all right? But as you can see, here's the plate, all right? It's looking beautiful. I topped those fries with some of that sauce. I put me a little sauce on the side. You know, I got the pepperoncinis on the side to kind of drip some of that juice on top of the burger. This is all around crazy, all right? All around insane. The plating is beautiful. The burger looks insane. It's time to eat. I'm ready. I know y'all ready. Let's get to it. All right, guys, food is done. We put in the hard work, time to taste it. Let's get to it. Look here, guys. This right here is dangerous, all right? What DJ Khaled said, the problem with this is I can eat four or five of these, all right? Don't overdo it, all right? This is a cheat meal for a cheat year, all right? Eat this once a year. Don't go overboard. I'm telling you, you're gonna blow up like a balloon. Blow up like a balloon, health problems through the roof, all right? Don't, don't do it, don't do it, all right? But if you wanna just experience something, I'm gonna lead y'all in the wrong right direction, all right? I'm not a big fan of, you know, overpowering stuff with onions, but this right here is it, so much different than anything I've ever done, right? Like French onion soup, not the biggest fan of, I'll eat it, but I'm not like ever craving a French onion soup, okay? Um, this right here, it, it's, it's unique in its own way. 
you know what I'm saying, extremely unhealthy. The bacon, the, the, the hickory smoked, um, the thick cut bacon, it makes a world of a difference, all right? It gives you that, that, that just that ill feeling that you need to feel when you're eating something like this. You know what I'm saying? You want to have that, that unhealthy, you know what I'm saying, salty, crispy, chewy, just that texture and that flavor on that from that bacon is out of this world, all right? It adds so much to the burger. I would not want to have this without the bacon, all right? Like I said, if I'm going to cheat, I'm going to cheat all the way. I'm, I'm going to go to the whole mile, all right? I'm not going to baby step it. I'm going to go the whole mile. So this is the only way to do this, all right? You get the processed, the highly processed American cheese, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, it just adds a different element of, you know, velvety, smooth texture to it, creaminess. Um, yeah, and the sauce, the sauce just, I'm telling you, y'all gotta try this. I'm not trying to, you know, encourage y'all to do bad things, but this is one of them bad things that you're gonna really, really enjoy doing, okay? I might end up giving my dogs a treat. I got another burger over there, so I might split that down the middle and let them have that because there's no way I'm eating both of these and living my life, going forward with my life. It's just not gonna happen. But like I said, y'all, I highly encourage y'all to try this. Just, you know, live on edge for a little bit, all right? Life's not guaranteed. You never know when your time is gonna come. You can live like a pro-grade dietitian and, you know, something bad might happen the next day. You just never know. You know what I'm saying? Treat yourself every now and then, all right? It's okay. It, it, it's, it's okay to feel guilty after it too, all right? What they say, it's okay to be not okay, all right? But anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. I really, really do. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most of all, hit that notification bell, all right? That's going to alert you every time I drop a video so you don't miss anything that we got coming, all right? This burger right here was my outlet. I'm probably going to finish the whole thing. I'm going to feel guilty about it in the morning, but it's all good, all right? We need that setback sometime to strengthen our comeback. So with that being said, I'll see y'all next time. Y'all keep on learning, and I'm out.